Hey everybody, it's uh, Sully Man again. Uh, today I'm going to show you the general mechanics of the pen tool. Uh, it's a kind of a jump off point for beginners. Um, also, you know, kind of freshen up for some of you. Um, you know, needing to know some extra little things about the pen tool and kind of get your uh, uh, workflow a little faster. So we're going to go ahead and start off by uh, just showing you the pen tool itself. Um, this is where you can find the pen tool or use the shortcut P as you can see when I hover it listed off now if you click and hold it's going to show you the uh, additional three sub tool uh, or sub tools in the um, pen tool category um, so when you have the pen tool activated um, if you hit plus you can add an anchor point to the path you hit minus you can uh, subtract an anchor point from the path and then you have convert anchor point tool which once you've laid down uh, a couple anchors um, creating some paths some you have bezier which a bezier is just a curve essentially uh, or straight lines you go back and, and the bezier you don't want to have as a bezier anymore you want it a straight line you use the convert anchor point tool to kind of alter stuff like that um, and there's also some shortcuts while using the pen tool to do specific things like using the space bar to move an anchor point around so you clicked initially somewhere where you didn't want to if you hit spacebar while still holding down you can actually move the anchor point around it's a pretty nifty little shortcut to know so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on pen tool and kinda get this started um, so when you're working with the pen tool you gotta click somewhere to create your initial node or anchor point um, so what you're gonna do here is click and there is our first anchor point our little dot um, now to bezier what you're gonna wanna do is to click and hold so right now there's no bezier. It's just a straight path to the second node that we've created. Now to bezier, while you have the left click still hold, move further away from the node. And what I like to call it is the uh, the the bezier strength bar. Is, I guess we'll call it. I'm not exactly sure of the terminology for it, but uh, the strength bar shows the bend. Um, and this is kind of how I um, will relate it to you and how I think of it in my head. So I've released. Now what we have here is the first node or anchor point and I clicked and held and stretched away from the second anchor point or node and what I'm left with is this um, the strength bar. Um, now this is how I think of it. The, when you click on the node the bar to the left is your the past strength. So this path would be the past like in you know future past or present the past strength bar this one to the right will be the future strength bar so now with this uh, strength bar still here it's going to add a bezier to the third anchor point I'm going to click and show you and here's the click and it add, added a bend using this strength um, for the third node that I've made. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo uh, which is undo, uh, you can go to edit, undo, shortcut, control Z I use that quite a bit so learn control Z um, see I accidentally clicked there control and hit Z and I can go back in the path so now uh, back to the beginning point so we this is the second node we held at a added a bezier and from this point we want a straight line to our next one so what we're gonna do is actually click the node to close it and now we close it and as you can see the future bezier bar has disappeared so now I'm gonna click to my third point and we have a straight line so that's, those are the essential um, ideas behind using the pen tool, um, is to click and hold to create a bezier, closing nodes or anchor points to create straight lines, um, and, and that's essentially it. So I'm going to mix it up here and make this into like a real thick looking line. A little sloppy and you know over time it just takes practice you gotta take time to learn this stuff so now I'm gonna show you how to um, edit nodes and what I'm gonna do is control shift A to deselect so now with a the direct selection tool the shortcut is A um, this one you'll want to get um, get to know pretty well too so I'm gonna hit A to activate that tool and what I can do is now when I hover in Illustrator over a node as you can see it'll find them um, and it'll actually kind of zoom in on it to show you the node as you can see here. Um, you can click to activate it, and it'll activate the entire path. So now you can kind of see it traced out. So now what you can do using this direct select tool is click any node to activate it, and then click and you can um, alter the, the bezier if you need. 
Um, or you can actually click the node and move the node around itself to uh, create the desired effect you're looking for. Um, some people like to, uh, you know, they, you can click and hold spacebar if you want to move it around. Um, and I'll actually show you how to how to go about using that as well. So let's go back to the pen tool. So say I want to click somewhere around here, but I accidentally clicked over here, like you can see now. I can actually now hold the spacebar and move that node to where I needed it. I release the base the the spacebar, and there's my node. And now I can move on to the second point. I clicked and oops, I, I kind of messed up again. Um, if I hold spacebar while it's still active, I can move it where I need it. And bend my bezier as need be. Now let me show you this in uh, kind of a real world situation. So what I'm going to do here is grab these objects and delete them off my artboard. <clears throat> now what I did is uh, Google search earlier for some simple vector shapes. Um, when you're tracing, I highly suggest um, using it for your own personal work. Don't use it in commercial work. If somebody else's artwork, they have the rights to it. Um, it's not a good idea to be using it. So. What I did is right click, copy the image, I'm going to go back to Illustrator, and I'm going to hit Control V, or you can go to Edit, uh, Paste, um, Control V to paste my image in my artboard. Now what I'm going to do is with that layer active, I'm going to click on the drop down menu and head down to Template. And what it's going to kind of do is mute the colors, uh, it's going to you know, lower the opacity, um, essentially. Um, Think of it almost like putting a piece of wax paper on your drawing. It will kind of mute it out so you can see what you're doing. And I'm going to create a new layer. Hit the uh, new layer button here. Uh, now what I'm going to do is zoom in. You can use the magnifying glass or you can hit control, positive or negative. Positive will zoom in. Negative will zoom out. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in on this leaf. It's, it's pretty dynamic. It's got some sharp points. It's got uh, some curves. So we're going to kind of play around with this one. So I've created my new layer. And what I'm going to do is zoom in, and I'm going to show you something, uh, the visibility of a layer. So by default, a, a layer is fully visible, and what I'm going to do is just kind of click with the pen tool and create a shape to kind of show you what I'm talking about. So here's some random shape that I've made, <clears throat> and as you can see, it, it kind of blocks out, you know, um, the image I want to trace. So the example would be, so say I'm clicking, I'm, I'm tracing, and eventually you will get quick enough to kind of move like this as I go along I'm, I'm missing the image now say I did want to you know trace this side out with all these curves I can't you know because the fill I can change it to stroke if I want to and you can do it that way um, but here's a uh, a way of keeping a fill and still being able to trace so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete the shape and what I'm going to do is, if you toggle over the uh, or hover over the um, the eye to show visibility on your layer, you'll see when I hover, it shows you a little information that says in parentheses. If you control and then click on this eyeball, what it'll do, it'll actually show the just the path with no fills or anything like that, just the essential path itself. And I'm going to hold control, click on the uh, on the eye, and now you can see with this shape, it's just showing the path. But when I turn it back on, it's still the filled layer, which will save you time instead of having to, you know, create an object with a stroke and then having to go back and, and make it a fill. It just kind of saves you time. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that random shape. I am going to go ahead and turn the visibility to just pass by holding Control and clicking on the eyeball. Click P for my pen tool, or click the pen tool, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start here by clicking, and I've created my uh, my first anchor or node. I'm going to click to a second point that's a reasonable distance away. We don't want to have a million uh, anchor points. We don't want to keep doing incremental this small. and That, that kind of de defeats the purpose of a bezier. So as you can see, this, this has one, the initial, two, three, four, five nodes. You kind of want to keep the nodes down. So I'm going to go ahead and start back from my uh, first one um, and click to this point because it should be just one bend. So now you can see instead of having five nodes I've created, um, or anchors, I, uh, now I'm down to just two nodes or anchors. So as you can see I've created the bend, now it's a sharp point from here. Um, now with the future uh, Bezier strength, if I click to my next point, this is what will happen. So I'm going to click here to my next point. 
as you can see it's already added that bezier um, with the uh, second notes uh, or bezier's strength bar we don't want that to happen so we're going to have to close the note like I showed you <clears throat> I just hit control Z to undo I need to close that anchor or node and move on to my next one so I'm going to click and hold to create my bezier and keep moving with the bezier because it's just a soft um, smooth curve so I keep the beziers open and here it's a sharp point so I'm going to click and end and I'm going to keep moving and uh, tracing my object closing nodes as need be and moving along keeping the bezier open when I need to and closing and just moving along and, and the more you practice the better you'll get and oh, I've clicked and the bezier is here but I kind of messed up remember folks if you hold spacebar after clicking to create an anchor point or node and it's in the wrong spot if you hold spacebar like I am right now I can move it back move it and keep holding and I can bend that bezier the way I need it and keep moving uh, that'll save you time um, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this shape out and then I'm gonna show you another technique that you can do to kinda get things moving it's a little email just showed up but let's go ahead and keep moving and click here to finish off that specific shape so now what I'm going to do is turn the visibility back on so you can see what I have going on beautiful and as you can see there's kind of pixelated background that's just my background image I can turn that off and see it's just a wonderfully carved out pen tool created object um, uh, you can see I'm moving my artboard around if you hold spacebar it'll activate the hand which is right here and again when you hover over any of these tools it will give you the shortcut. Learn the shortcuts. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the visibility of my tracing layer again. Let me show you something pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and trace this one out. You already kind of know what you got to do um, to start learning it. Turn the visibility off again by holding control and then clicking on that eyeball on the layers. Uh, palette and keep moving. Um, and now the second technique is some people will just kind of slap things on you know just get them in the general area and then um, what they'll do is go back and alter the node so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this convert anchor point tool so I'm gonna click here and use the convert anchor point tool now this can uh, it does a lot of stuff you can you can sh um, knock off the bezier strength bars and have them as straight lines what I'm gonna do is click on this one you'll see what happens and what it does is knocks the bezier uh, past and future bar off so it creates straight lines to the next path so you can do that or you can click the node hold spacebar and move it around like I showed uh, using just the pen tool um, and while I'm holding I can add the bezier to where I need it so let's click hold spacebar move that where I want it then add the bezier um, click on this one and hold and then also hold spacebar as well to move it. Um, that's another technique that people like to, to use is just kind of get it down quick and then go in and, and alter your uh, anchor points or nodes using the tools. Um, so let's see here. Now let's use the pen tool delete anchor point tool. So as you see here, this can be just a straight line. We don't need this middle one, so I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. Um, or if I need to add one, I can go to the add or while the pen tool is activated, hit the plus tool. Um, and let's see here. Um, we'll just say for um, the fun of it, we're going to click here again, add that note back in. Um, so now using the direct selection tool, we can click on that note to activate it and move it around if you want uh, sharp points to your leaves. So I'm going to, I turned on the visibility for the layer. I'm going to turn off the tracing layer and go back to my pen tool and the add anchor point tool and I want to make all these sharp points. I'm going to click in the middle, click in the middle and then I'm going to use my direct selection tool which can be activated with the shortcut A and move these out and as you can see I click on it, now I can see where the nodes are, now I can locate it, click on it to activate it and move it out. Now we can see a difference. Sharp point, sharp point, not a sharp point. That's where our convert anchor point tool comes in to play so now we're gonna 
Let's go ahead and activate it first so we can kind of see our notes. Go back to the Convert Anchor Point tool, or Shift-C, and please learn those. It will save you hours of time. So now with the Convert Anchor Point tool activated, I'm going to click this node to knock out the Past and Future Strength Bezier bar. And that's what we have. This one, we, we want them straight, so this one actually has to be knocked out as well. So let's click that one to knock it out. Let's use our direct selection tool to alter the bezier on this node to make it nice and perfect the way we would like it. But that's essentially it, folks. Um, that's the general mechanics of the pen tool and its sub-tool um, tools. Um, I, know I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it was a learning lesson for you. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely, like I said, learn the shortcuts. They will save you time. I just want to thank everybody for watching. If you'd like to find out more about the t-shirt industry, along with uh, art techniques just like the one you just saw, uh, head over to t-shirtforums.com. You can find me under the username Sullyman. Uh, if you'd like to see my body of work, uh, head over to deviantart.com. And the URL you can find me at is sullyman.deviantart.com. Again, thanks for watching.